Hello, my name is Kay McFadgen and I am a Level 2 student with the OCA working towards a BA Honours in Painting. I'm a landscape artist and I work in a semi-abstracted, expressionistic way. I found while working my way through the course a real shift in my process while researching mirrors and the multiple. I'd been looking at the work of the Japanese contemporary artist Yeo Kashima and her work entitled Chandelier of Grief where her reflected image became infinite. I wanted to take this idea of the infinite, intimate, <laughs> infinite image further by looking at different reflective surfaces. I started with an appropriated generic image of a woodland, which I painted on top of digitally. The original is on the left. The resulting reflected images were created by using a mirror initially, but then I reflected it onto a sheet of copper with some more interesting results. The copper added another dimension to the work and I created a soft, warm glow which interested me. I printed out the digital image on the copper and looked at its reflective values. I wanted to transfer this image onto the copper roll and create a 3D piece of work, which I did by using photo transfer gel. The results were different than expected as the image was broken and incomplete and in some areas the copper was shining through which added a fragility. I had been researching the work of art, artist Eva Hesse, uh, in particular her hangings, and I asked myself could I somehow suspend these copper pieces as hanging 3D sculptures? I was also interested in using light and shadow and create <laughs> shadow created by directional light and I wondered if I could create a different atmosphere uh, simply by using a different light source, such as a light box. I photographed the resulting images. I then went on to look at mystery and the unknown, where I had been looking at the work of artist Munch, in particular the sick child. I wanted to create a sense of emotion in my work and created some portraits. The portraits were approached very differently than my landscapes. I used a diluted ink wash in blue and black and I highlighted with white pen the pen created an aged fragility to the face. I worked in thin layers using chance, and then I worked into the face in a little more detail. I kept the work very loose. Could this be a way forward for me in my landscapes? I created an abstract image using a limited palette in my studio work, and I wanted to take this further. Next, I took this feeling of fragility further and collaged into my painting, which changed the composition and created more space and light. I investigated further with different colour palettes in postcard sized studies, looking at pattern and colour within the landscape. I have then tried an abstracted image using thin layers of paint and A1 in progress, looking at colour, composition, gesture and movement. For my future, I want to investigate and transfer the skills learned in the previous exercises and look at ways of limiting the palette even more. I want to create a feeling of standing within the landscape. Could this thin, watery, diluted ink wash evoke an easy...